Hey there viewers and welcome back to Rocket Robot on Wheels. In the last set of videos, I did the second half of Mind Blowing, only to miss out on a single coin. And I complained about that coin because I spent maybe 45 minutes during my recording session trying to find it, only to have to cut out all that footage. Then again for another 30 minutes after I finished recording, hoping I could find it. Then going to sleep, waking up the next morning, hoping maybe a fresh set of eyes would help me find it. No. It wasn't until I looked online for an LP, or 100% speed run, by a guy by the name of X Azuray X. He only spent 15 minutes in here, so it wasn't that bad, but I followed his path to the T, trying to find where exactly he went, getting all the coins. Now, I myself, when I did the thing, I backtracked a lot. I would go a few inches, then i turn around and look that way. Go a few more inches, turn around, then look that way yet again. No matter what I did, I could never find the damn coin. Well, eventually, in that guy's speed run, he got to this point up here. Now, I'd already been through here maybe three, four times, coming up here, turning around, doing stuff like this. Coming up here, turning around, doing like that. Still, I can never find the damn coin. It wasn't until I got to this point up here. Break this thing up. See, I would do things like this. I'd come up here, look around, spin around, nothing. Blow this thing up right here. Come up here. Look around, spin around, nothing. Watch the clown blow himself up. Laugh. Ha ha. Die, clown, die. Come over here. Spin around. Look. Come right here. Spin around. Look. See, you can barely see it about a glimmer right there. You can see it a little bit, kind of. Well, there's the final coin. Number 200. That's the reason I can never find it. Even when you do spin around right there, it's still hard as hell to find. So there you go. All the tickets in this world are now gotten. Alright, so there you go. That is the coin that got me all that damn trouble. I blame it because, I mean, even if you did spin around right there, you still couldn't see it. Very nicely hidden. By that stalagmite, stalactite, whatever the damn thing's called. Alright, let's see. Last left off, we are right here. I don't know if it saved the coins that I gathered down here, did it? Okay, it does look like it did. So I know sometimes if you quit the game after getting a couple coins, it may not save it. Here we go. Into the pyramid scheme. Not a Ponzi scheme, a pyramid scheme. Okay. What on earth is that? Some new mascot. I don't know. I only know about JoJo and Whoopi. That's not neither of those two. No, the bees are back. Damn them. Well, thankfully I can freeze them now. Put them on ice. Ain't that cool. Yeah, no, terrible joke. Guessing I'm gonna use that later. Whoa. Can I turn around? Okay, there we go. Don't need to be going in there blind. I still am kind of blind. Here, where are we gonna go? Up here. What's up here? Okay, a vine to swing from, and... A vine over there. That's it. Well, there's some stuff up there. Can we reach it? Yes, we can. Alright, good. I guess just drop down there now. Or, if we can make this jump right here... Yeah, we can make the jump, but for what reason? That's of no help.
All right, try out this new technique. Where are we aiming for? Up there. That's a miss. Try it again. Swing over there. Hey, we made it. Now what? That's not so bad. Yeah, this is a bit of a pyramid, isn't it? Nice! Using all of our upgrades, aren't we? Damn it! I had a feeling I was gonna miss one eventually. Figures it was the last one. There we go. Letter A. Making sure I'm not missing any coins in here. I'd hate to have to spend another hour looking for one. Eh, no, I can't reach that. Okay. Now what? I guess the best thing to do would probably just to be go around the entire pyramid base. No, check the outside of it. Make sure I'm getting all the coins. Bzz. Bzz. Actually, I think that's a hornet, not a bee. Whoa! Getting launched up now. That's kind of new. Those freaky Aztecs, always ahead with their technology. Okay, now why is this thing glowing? Huh. Okay, oh, I see something right there. Nice. Okay, that's not good. Did I just break the bridge? Actually, that may just might have made just might have made things a little bit easier. Might have made just. I love my grammar sometimes. It's just terrible. Okay, here's another one of these damn things. Is this level kind of like Banjo-Kazooie, where there's a night and day type thing, like the uh, spring, fall, and autumn of Banjo-Kazooie 1? I don't know. Punjai sticks. I'm guessing that might be what that is. I need to find some way to activate the sun. Or the moon. Huh. Otherwise, there's no real way up there. Yeah, so I guess come back here later. And that kind of looks like Whoopi. Now that I get a big picture of his face. Kind of like a cross between a Whoopi and a snake. With those fangs of his. Whoa, that's actually electrocuted. Would have been nice to know at first. More hidden paths, huh? <laughs> this world's gonna be a lot bigger than I thought. A whole lot bigger. Especially now that there's screws. Great! Palm tree hopping! Good thing that is not swamp. Get up there! New. No. Okay, guess we need to find another way around. And there's another screw. 
Is that the thing where they go into? Maybe. Hold on. I need some other way across. This could work. I hope. Whoa, no, that's not gonna work. Try this again. Come on, flip back. Come on. There we go. Well, I don't care about that buzzer, I still got the piece. Puzzle piece, the machine piece. Okay, now that's what I'm thinking these screws might go into, that little fire thing. I'm not too sure. What's this do? 